great. Well, hello, everyone, and happy Monday. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, as you see, we have a lot going on. Lots. So what we decided, we pulled everything out. So what we decided to do today is go through the routine of like kind of when and how to take. Um, you will notice on our website, a lot of times it goes on missed because you don't scroll enough, but there is a learn more section next to every product. And in that, we give a little bit more detail on how to take, when to take, some pro tips. Yep. So that's always worth going to or if somebody asks you questions, one of your, uh, you know, downline, upline, whatever, you can go ahead and send them to that learn more. But now you're also going to have this video. So with this video, we're going to kind of go through the whole shebang and how to kind of go through it, as well as some of our personal favorites on how we like to do it. But the biggest thing is, um, the consistency is key to supplementation, right? We want to make these uh, products work for our bodies. And to be consistent, you have to have a routine. Without that, you're forgetting this, you're, you thought you had great intentions and then that didn't happen. I mean, things have to be structured and routine. And then once they do that, it, it builds a habit. And then it's kind of like brushing your teeth. You don't really have to think about it. You just take your supplements. Um, okay, so let's go through. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of funny. You're talking about routine, then you said habit, and they're a lot alike, but they're not the same thing. It's funny because typically a habit is something that you have a cue for. Like if you go to the restroom, you have a cue to wash your hands. Whereas brushing your teeth is really not a cue. That's more of a routine. Okay. But you're right, though, to think that's ingrained in your brain. You've done it so often, so long, and routines can really become regular, like without cue. You can be kind of programmed to them. And they have been shown to produce like clutter, noise in your brain. It's like they simplify certain tasks and things throughout the day that you're like more creative actually. So study after study has shown the importance of a good healthy routine, uh, similar to habits in, in a lot of ways. But um, they can take some time. They say can take a lot of time to develop. I mean, 18 to 250 days, depending on what you're trying to accomplish. When it comes to lifestyle and, and like healthcare type stuff, it can take a long time because there's a lot of intimidation, there's a lot of barriers. We tend to throw too much too fast, but that's not what we're trying to do here today. Uh, ultimately, we're trying to simplify it. The supplementation part of the pillars of health is con considered, in my mind, one thing. You know, you could say, oh, I only want to start with D or I only want to start with magnesium. That's fine. That's, that's your personal prerogative. That's, of course, okay. But I don't have, I, I, in the same sense, I'll say, well, you can use all of these with the same routine. Right. And there's reminder systems that we can give you some tips for and that kind of thing. But yeah, um, I know Lisa has a lot of reminders. She's got a lot of they're like life hacks. It's kind of funny. I, um, I will say, though, that I think that developing a solid supplement routine is probably one of the most critical life hacks that you can develop um, because it's in the name of improving your health. And what good are we if our health is not as good as it possibly can be? And that's a fact Like I feel so good day in and day out. I constantly think that that's just how people feel. But when I go through an assessment and there's a subjective review and I hear people talk about how they feel on a daily basis. It's so sad. It's so disappointing to hear because I know that the potential is there for them to feel so much better. So supplementation being one part of that, Lisa. Yes, definitely. Um, okay. So let's go through it because again, What'd you go grab? Shake your oh, yeah. there we go. Travel. Yeah. On the go. Anything that helps again, the routine. Love it. Um, so let's just start in the morning. Okay. And so we're going to be broad about this and then give kind of how we do our things. But start in the morning. Are we okay. focusing only on supplements or are we doing like morning routine? Just supplements. Just supplements. Okay. okay. Let's okay. do it. Okay. Um, so bite. first of all, we have our organic coffee. Okay. And we also have the um, energy and focus patches. Why we say morning is because they both contain caffeine. And you do want to keep your caffeine consumption to the earlier part of the day. Um, yeah. Just to you know, not interrupt your sleep nothing past 10 a.m right which is i i mean i do i mean we're very strict with that just i'm because, very strict on yeah that. sleep is is crucial yeah um but you really again want to keep your caffeine intake to the earlier part of the day most people wake up and have their cup of coffee um if you want to do both of these knowing that they both contain caffeine you can split them up a little bit you know you wake up and you have your cup of coffee and then you put your sleep patch i mean excuse me your energy focus patch on you know one to two hours later doesn't have to stay on the full eight hours, okay? If you decide that you're gonna put it on at 10, but you wanna take it off at, you know, at two because you don't want it to interrupt your sleep, go for it. You don't have to have it on for the eight hours. Um, how many cups of, or scoops of coffee can you have? It's equivalent to a cup of coffee. Right. So if you're a coffee drinker that drinks two cups of coffee a day, you can have the two scoops. Now we don't really advise going much over the two scoops only because of the caffeine content and too much caffeine is not a good thing. Um, okay, so you get your energy stuff taken care of. 
And just a little tip too. I love putting my coffee in with my protein powder. That's one of my favorites. Um, okay, so then we go through, uh, we have our first meal of the day. Okay, so your breakfast, your break fast, whatever it is. Um, that's when you want to take your vitamin D. And why do we want to take this in the earlier? Fat vitamin? soluble. Vitamin D is a fat soluble. Same with K2. Fat soluble vitamin, better absorption, um, better with food. And the earlier part of the day. Oh, the, and establishes the sleep awake cycle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah. So you want to, it's all about getting ready for sleep at night, which seems funny, but that's why you want to be taking your vitamin D in the morning. Um, then also with the multivitamins. Okay. So with your first meal of the day, whatever multivitamin you take, uh, that you want to get those done first because uh, they contain the full B vitamin complex and that can give us energy. So if you're deciding to take these with like a late lunch or something, it might interfere with sleep depending on your body. And there's some fat soluble components in the multivitamins as well. Correct. So again, more important to take with food. And then your factor four, that's to split your dose, right? So it's a good idea to have half your dose with your breakfast. Yeah. So I would do two. So my vitamin D intake is two, two capsules. So I do 4,000 units with the first meal and a multi, and I'll split my six soft gels of factor four throughout the day. So two with each meal. Yeah. So we both just take a little bit more of the factor four because I mean, you can, so just really working to keep the inflammation down. And I alternate my days. Um, I take one, one day and then two the next day. So just, but it's about knowing your vitamin D numbers. Yeah. I know my numbers and I'm high right now. So like, I don't want to exceed, uh, I, love, I, love it. I don't know, I actually just did blood work. So <laughs> you will find out, but I was in the, I was in the uh, early nineties last oh, time, which I like, that's where I like mine, Okay. but I don't want to go higher. Okay. Okay. So take those. Don't go much further without talking about methylene blue. I'm going that's no. next. <laughs> okay, so our lovely methylene blue. Mm -hmm. um, we advise more for the earlier part of the day, just because of like the brain stimulation that you can get from it. You don't want it to disrupt your sleep. I um, mean, you also want to take advantage of that, you know, feeling like lit up and feeling really good. And so you don't want that to happen while you're sleeping. Yeah. No, exactly. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. And then, so it doesn't, it doesn't matter food or no food. Um, and also the one thing I do say is, Try to mimic that sunlight thing again. So you're like, take that methylene blue, 30 minutes, go get some sun. I do want to clear up a little confusion. Methylene blue does not have to be every other day. It can be every day. It could be 10 days on, 10 days off. It could be 15 on, 15 off, 30 on, 30 off. Whatever works for you. You can stay on it indefinitely. You know, it's it, it really does vary. I just, for me, wanted to optimize it. My mitochondria, I wanted to help them jumpstart and maintain optimal health in my mitochondria. So I was like, all right, every other day seems to make the most sense for me. Um, because ultimately you don't necessarily want to have to feed the mitochondria for indefinitely, right? I think that right. you, know, you want them to work on their own. You want too. them to work on their own. Exactly. Exactly. Um, just had a thought on what you were saying about methylene blue. Methylene blue with or without food, not do not limit it to once a day. You can also cut the strips. They are 20 milligrams, which is on the low end of the dosing schedule, um, but still plenty of efficacy. They've definitely been shown to work at 20 and definitely you guys are seeing that because you're letting us all know. So you can do a strip in the morning, another strip in the afternoon. You can do a half. Again, figure out what works best for you. There's plenty of research online about it. I know there's a lot of questions. So feel free to reach out to us. And is the sunlight necessary? Or no, 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 no. Not a good question. Thank you. Not necessary, but definitely it is. How about synergy? Synergistic effect. Okay, perfect. They work both. They work better when combined together. Perfect, because that's a common question. Um, okay, so then we're going to get into the powders, um, minus the coffee. Okay. Um, get into the powders. So we have our reds, our greens. What, what, did you work out yet for the day? I did, yeah. No, not, it, not today. I mean, in oh. this simulated exercise. <laughs> well, we're going to get there. <laughs> I was going to say, you know I did. I did, I did. Okay, the ice so bath, the sauna, the workout. And... <laughs> we have our super red, super greens. We have our essential aminos, our protein powder, and our collagen. Okay, so the reason I'm kind of lumping them all together is because they can be taken any time of day, but it has to go with what works best in your routine. And it's all about, again, establishing that routine and figuring out what works for you. So we'll go through, because these can be taken any time of day with other food, without food, on empty, it doesn't matter. Um, but we're going to give our examples just to kind of help you think about what might work best for you. Okay, okay so I work out in the morning. So what do I do before well, my workout? So we don't confuse people. So you woke up. What did you take? What's the first thing you did? Coffee? Aminos? No, because I do my coffee Flicks. after. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I Fair do enough. my coffee because I go, I work out so early that I like my aminos. 
Um, right. And then our new food workout, I put those together. And then I put my coffee in with my protein powder after. So right. I'm, I'm a little bit- I'm different. the more normal of the schedule. I'm coffee first, still still fasting though, not, not eating food. Then I'm at the gym. So my aminos are firing, getting ready for the gym with the creatine, which you guys will be pumped about. Then I come home, just got home from the gym. Then I go into the powders. Okay, we'll get to you in a minute. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so back to me. No, I uh, I do the, <laughs> I do the essential aminos before I work out in the morning. Uh, combine those again with our enhanced E3 that you're gonna get as well, mm -hmm. and the creatine too. Um, so then after I get home from my workout, then that's when I combine my super greens, my protein, my coffee. Oh wow. And my collagen. Oh, wow. So you see how you can make it work for you to get it all in all at once. But I, I love the combination. It tastes so good to me. Um, and then later in the afternoon, um, we, are, we do talk about the second dose. Though. Okay. Later in the afternoon, maybe around sometime after lunch, right? Maybe somewhere between three and five o'clock when I kind of just feel like I eat a little bit of a boost. It doesn't necessarily give you like a caffeine boost, but it, it wakes me up a little bit. I do another dose of my essential aminos and I mix it with my super red. I, I love that because you're right in between eating windows. So the amino acids will keep your body in muscle protein synthesis while you're in that longer eating window in the middle of it. So every three hours about, right? Mm -hmm. After about three hours, your body will start breaking down muscle and feed other parts of your body. That's why the essential aminos are so awesome. Yeah. So. Fill, in the, fill in that like, um, and then instead of picking some junk food and snacking, like, recklessly you just you can discipline yourself with that that's awesome right great fuel for the body it is and i do i am doing two scoops of the collagen a day so i put that in with this together so that's my second dose of aminos my second dose of collagen and i put it with my super reds cool um okay that that's good. goes that's good. to all of that and then uh we have our magnesium yeah i was gonna say when are you taking your magnesium magnesium and cbd oil so i prefer both of my magnesium before bed I am not a good sleeper. So anything that's going to help myself sleep and rest and want and calm down, that's what I do. We'll talk about you. And then I use the 1500 milligram CBD oil and I just right before, bed, like literally right when I'm getting into bed, I just do a dropper bowl. That's what works uh, best for me. Um, and if then, you know, I, I do use sleep patches on occasion. I'm one that's like, if I, if I feel like I'm going to need it, then I use it. Some people love to use them every day, but then you're just going to put that on 30 minutes prior to sleep. That can be in combination. Yes. You always need your magnesium, but in combination with the CBD oil as well. Um, again, with the CBD oil, you can also take it more. It doesn't have to just be right before bed. But if I'm ever feeling a little bit stressed or anxious during the day, you know, I'll do uh, a second dose then. Um, and I think that's my routine. Awesome. Right? Yeah, you guys heard my morning. So I come home from the gym. I do the same thing. I have the powder mix. So I'm doing the protein. I've got the reds, the greens, the collagen. And, uh, and then I'm off to the races. At lunch, though, I do split my magnesium dose. So two capsules a day is a serving. So I'll take one at lunch. I try to get that away from the multivitamin. It's kind of one of my suggestions so it doesn't bind or chelate or compete for absorption sites with other minerals, uh, which it possibly can do. So I'll do the magnesium at lunch. And then after lunch, typically in the mid part of the day, like she does, I'll do an amino acids or uh, a reds uh, also as a pick me up. I think that's a great, uh, that's actually, I look forward to that a lot right. actually. Uh, and then bedtime, I do the same. I take, I take my last magnesium. I'm not a, not a CBD user. Well, he sleeps like a rock. So. Yeah, I sleep actually pretty good. Um, so I, I really enjoy the magnesium. And I also do a collagen or a protein powder after dinner. And that is to obviously hit my protein goals because as we've heard, as you've heard us speak before, we really do preach trying to hit higher protein goals. And um, honestly, something about it, just the satiety, the flavor of the vanilla protein is like a milkshake to me. It's very dessert-like. I enjoy it a lot or the collagen, like sometimes just sipping on it. It's the equivalent of like a tea to, in my brain without any stimulants, without any caffeine. Right. I love it. I, yeah, I think it's awesome. You know, so. Again, it's about establishing your routine and it's based on your work schedule, your life schedule. Yeah. What I ran and grabbed was our Live Good Shaker. Just another way to help yourself get on a good routine. Yeah. So you open up the bottoms and if you want to take your capsules with you, say you eat your, you know, you have your breakfast, you break fast while you're out at work. 
you can put your uh, fat soluble vitamins, right? Your multivitamin, your vitamin D, and then put your factor four all in here. You could have other powders in here for later. Um, a lot of times what I do is I'll just stick all my powder in here, right? Remove this guy that just helps shake it. I will put everything for my smoothie into here. And then when I'm ready to eat it or drink it, should I say, um, then I put the water in, shake it up, and then it's done. So again, there should be no excuses. It takes such minor, minor amount of preparation. You just have to think about what's my day like tomorrow? How am I going to get all my supplements in and plan for it? Another thing that I love to use, I love my pill sorters. This one looks a little intense, but I love it. Um, so every day, and I get this off of Amazon, test Monday through Sunday, but you have four different options, um, you know, for bed, late afternoon, lunch, breakfast, and each one comes out so you can take it with you. So if I'm gone for the day, this is Monday, I will literally take this and stick it in my purse. That way I, they're all with me. It's just so easy. So again, that's what works for me. You need to figure out what works for you, how to combine all your supplements into your day, because that way we stay consistent. And if we're consistent, they're effective. Oh yeah. And I think it's funny. Yeah, right. right. And you know how you know when it's working, when you got a routine dialed in, you know how I know is when I miss something, I'm like, Mm. Son of a gun. Right. I'll piss. Right. Dang, right. That? 